Do you want me to try and go a little bit higher on the jack? Yeah, maybe just go a bit lower. I'll try and put some on. That's it. Ready, go. Welcome guys to another episode. This one's gonna be another lipstick session with my main man, Beyond the Concrete. We're not kayaking this time though, we're on a four wheel drive mission. The trip itself is gonna kick off in the morning, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm gonna meet up halfway with Beyond the Concrete and then we're gonna make our way over to Moss Vale and then there's, a, there's an easy four wheel drive track out to Fitzroy Falls. I don't know whether you guys sort of find this, but sometimes we struggle to find different four wheel drive trips to do. I often look on Google Earth and I'll look at certain tracks, but often you get there and the gates are closed. So this is where this type of thing is actually really good. So it, I've got this book by Boiling Billy. Um, so it's four wheel drive treks close to Sydney. This is the sixth edition. I've actually had this for quite a few years. It was about $40. And what it does, it gives you 25 sort of different trips that you can do. And the idea being you start at the first one and you, then you can work progressively work your way through. And I think they get harder the further you go. So the early trips are just what they class in this book as easy, easy trips, which you can do just in like all wheel drive vehicles. So X trails, rav fours, things like that. You don't necessarily need four wheel drives with higher clearance and low ratio gears and things like that. So. We just want to have an easy cruise tomorrow. It's just a day trip. It's just really just a drive out. I think the trek itself is about 30 k's, mainly on sort of dirt roads, gravel roads, and then we're just going to have a look at the waterfall and then just a pub lunch. So it's just a, a cruisy day out. But it's actually these are these are quite good. These these types of books. So the way it works is quite clever actually. But you can do it in either direction. This particular one, you can either start at Fitzroy Falls. We're going to start as it suggests in the book of Mossvale and work our way out to Fitzroy Falls. Once you get to the start point, which it tells you where that is, there's a, there's a GPS coordinate and lat longs for that. So a waypoint that you can put into your GPS or just give you directions that's in the middle of Mossvale. And then if you reset the odometer to zero, you can actually, it's actually got different kilometers. For example, you, 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 you've zeroed it at 2.7 kilometers, you turn right down so-and-so road. So it's actually quite good. You don't actually need a map or a GPS for this particular uh, trek, but we will have those. I've got these lats and longs into the GPS as waypoints. I've also, I've also got some, uh, some app type, app based maps as well on the phone. So I'm, I'm not going to do it without maps, but it's just a, just an easy cruise out in the morning. And what we're going to do eventually, I want to actually work my way through this book completely. So this is just trek number one. I actually tried it a few years ago, but I was on my own and it was quite wet and there was a few bog holes and I got up there and I just didn't fancy it, so I turned around, but yeah, just with me and beyond the concrete, it should be fine. So it's just a cruisy day out really tomorrow. So we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow at Mossvale. Right, so we're at waypoint one. We're at the start of the trek. We've got our book ready. We've got our maps.me app on the iPhone. We've got our Garmin GPS with the waypoints in, and we've also just reset our odometer. Radio check. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, so the first thing we've got to do is at 2.7 kilometers, there's a, there should be a left turn. So let's just see how this is going to work. So we've just turned into the first turn in at 2.7 k's. Um, it's about 100 meters out on my odometer, but that's pretty good. So it looks like that works. So yeah, I wouldn't completely rely on the odometer. It's probably better to have a couple of backup options as well. So far, so good, I like it. Right, so we've just gone onto, the, onto a dirt road. It's a, it's a good condition gravel road. So the first 11 Ks uh, are on, on the blacktop and now we've just hit uh, one of the unsealed roads. So I'm just gonna let some air out the tires, just air down a bit. It's not by any means uh, a bad condition row, but it is a bit bumpy with my suspension, so I'm just gonna let some air out. Yeah, so I'm gonna go down to about 22 PSI.
So this by no stretch is an easy trek, but it would be, it does say in the book that in the wet, you know, it, the way it grades them in the book is in dry conditions. So I think definitely in the dry, it's just like a, a, a normal sort of gravel dirt road, but in the wet, there's some pretty deep water holes. So you wouldn't want to be doing this in a RAV4 or anything like that, but, it, but it's totally fine. Um, it'd be totally fine dry. So for these water holes, I'm just putting it in low ratio, uh, first gear, and I'm just I'm also activating the diff locker as well, just to give me a bit more traction. So far, the bottoms have been quite uh, quite firm though, so it's not too soft, but it's just it just gives you a bit more power. So that's pretty much put an end to this trek with that tree across the track, but oh well, we'll go and find some other tracks just to finish the day, but that's a shame. So just looking on the map, it looks like we might, there's another like link road that we might be able to get back on and continue on the track, which will be excellent. So update in a minute. Now we're not on the trail, so we're going to have to try and find our way to Fitzroy Falls another way. So we'll just follow this track and just see where it takes us and then hopefully get back onto the highway somewhere onto the normal road and we can go from there. A few minutes later we came to a real boggy area and decided to check it out on foot and when we got around the corner what we found was four cars that were really bogged. We were a bit reluctant to help them because they didn't have rated recovery points but we hung around just in case but eventually they managed to get themselves out. We found an alternative track to the left to avoid the same fate as the other guys but unfortunately when I was going through there I took a wrong turn and ended up getting myself really really bogged. I tried reversing back but just sunk further down onto the side so there was no alternative but to get the winch out. That's it, I'd take it off now. And just when we thought we were done with recoveries and mud, we came across another bogged four wheel drive and we couldn't drive past without offering assistance. The front of the car was completely stuck in a bog hole and the driver had tried to recover himself with some recovery tracks, but unfortunately it failed. So the first thing we did was try to winch him out. I'm just gonna reverse as well. Yeah. Because of the combination of how bogged he was, the length of winch and the angle of the car, I was unable to winch him out. I've got one of my 
those air jacks, so we might get to jack the front up. You can whack it under, it just runs off the exhaust. Yeah. You just put it, yeah. you put out to your exhaust. Prepare to get whatever it goes, yeah. Let's keep that going. Yeah. That it might lift it off the front, whatever's stuck in there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That'll work. That'll work? Yeah. Alright, let's give that a shot. So if you put that on the, if you can reach the exhaust, so that's the only thing. Like stuff it right on? Yeah, it's just, that's it. You just hold it on. And it'll use the exhaust to blow it up. Is it going up? Yeah. Yeah, what I'll do, I'll go and get one of my... That's right, good, that's baby. going up. I'll go and get some max cracks and we'll yep. chuck them underneath. Yeah, thanks. Oh yeah, it's right! Oh, that's a step. That'll do. Yeah. Do you want me to try and go a little bit higher on the jack? Yeah, maybe just go a bit lower. I'll try and push more. That's good. Put your head in. That's probably enough. I'll attach a snap strap. Yep. And we'll just have to see how we go, really. Well, there you go. Get a video of that. <laughs> okay, here we go. go Okay, ready, go. You're going to have to come back quite a bit to be able to turn left. i just get it on the max tracks for now. Ah, uh, turn stop. With the tree right behind us and the bog hole in front, we'd pretty much exhausted all options. Then luckily for us, another four wheel driver came along and with a snatch block, was able to winch to the side and retrieve the vehicle. Well, that was pretty interesting. Definitely not an easy track if you're on your own. Definitely not by any shot. So what happened in the end, we actually had to help this other guy out who was bogged as well. So I got bogged and got winched myself out, which went okay. Uh, and then we came across this other guy who was stuck. So we've been trying to help him. And the winch, I, I couldn't pull him with the winch, so I did actually snatch him out, but then he got stuck behind the tree. And then we were just all at the wrong angle. And thankfully, another couple of guys came over uh, and they managed to winch him out. So we're now just on, on the way out now, hopefully. So yeah, what turned out, and I said to be on the concrete earlier on, oh, it should be an easy drive today. We shouldn't, yeah, nice easy one. It's been far from it. So I think this is just sort of to reiterate that point that this type of stuff you really shouldn't do on your own. Because um, if you were on your own, you'd be in a world of pain like that guy was really. If it hadn't been for us coming, he could have been in, in a bit of trouble there. So all's well, that ends well. So we all got out and skate, so that's good. So we're just sort of in convoy now on our way, way out. And hopefully, yeah, we won't have any dramas. It's dried right out now. The track's pretty good now. So yeah, we'll see. Right, so at the moment, we're back on the road that we began. So we're just heading back towards Moss Vale. So it looks like track one actually beat us, which was interesting. But no, look, we were almost to the end of, of the main track where the tree was. Uh, and then, yeah, we went off, off track and we couldn't get back on. So I don't think the trek did beat us, really. But I think it's just a, a reminder, really, not to be doing this stuff with one vehicle. Uh, it's bad enough with two vehicles, but look, we're just we're just on our way, as I said, to Moss Vale now. We're going to grab some lunch, and I've actually tried this track once before, so and didn't get. Uh, and I was on my own. It was a few years ago, and it, it was pretty boggy then as well. And I turned around and went back, made the right call, and went back. So twice I've done tried to do Trek One and haven't been able to do it. So 
I, have, I can't decide whether I want to come back. We've got another 24 to tackle, so I might just knock this one on the head and yeah, just just try again for trick two. But anyway, we're gonna go and grab some lunch. We'll see you in the pub. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, let her ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe.